Hello and welcome. How you doing, Angie? I'm doing well. That was very quiet. Dude. I am doing very well, That's Rick. so much better. an awesome we... day. It's been wonderful. So Thanks for asking. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. We got energy. We've got two more to go. We've been shooting live studio segments all day because this morning it was a teeny bit windy and dusty. Yeah, he couldn't handle it either. Yeah, I came inside. <laughs> I checked it out. But 35 mile an hour winds, I said, what's the point? We'll get all of our studio stuff done today, bring it to you guys live, and then tomorrow and Friday, it's all range day, baby. <laughs> that worked out really well. That did work I think out it great. Did. So hallelujah, that was awesome. Well, we are here at Airgun Expo, and we're going to be talking about some cool stuff we have here on the table. But before we do that, I definitely want to say thank you to our sponsors. We've got Gateway to Air Guns. We've got Air Guns at Arizona. They, obviously, we wouldn't be here without them. And the rest of our sponsors as well. So you want to know more about them, check them out. TheAirGunExpo.com. All of them are up there. You can see their logos, click on them. Go take a look at their page on our website. You can reach out to them as well. So if there's a product you like, or maybe you're a mom and pop shop, or a big, huge, monster big box store that wants to buy a million products please do that because i get a commission um go ahead and tell them that you want to you want to become a dealer all of those options are there as well so please media you want to know more go to the website go to their profile right at the bottom of every page you can fill out a form and you can talk directly to all of the companies that are represented here today so what did we did you tell them the website i did the airgunexpo.com oh you're the telling website. them right on your shirt Yep. There you go. Yep. We need to get her a stool or something. Yeah. All right. So we have on the table just a, like a fraction of a fraction of the air guns offered by Umrex USA. And I have a Conics full of more Umrex USA air guns because they have been a sponsor of mine for many, many years. And those guys over there are awesome. And they have some pretty incredible air guns. It starts from basic stuff all the way up to I want to go kill something really really big like a bear yeah BB gun to big boar there you go BB gun to big boar so I thought we'd start with like some basic stuff some of maybe their co2 replicas and different genres and then kind of move up to like a target co2 rifle that I've gone kind of sicko 12 year old uh, boy with and then we have if you want to go from there to something that's you know uh, kind of the next level but not big bore but you want to have a, a lot of fun maybe target shooting at longer ranges or taking small game and pesting then we've got the new gauntlet 2 we'll talk about that and of course we have the hammer which is the 50 cal monster so uh, angie is there anything here on the table you want to hit and don't forget we got to talk about the surge max this is the surge max elite right yep. was, okay in 22 caliber yep. so what would you like to talk about and why don't you tell me about your experience with umrex because you like those guys too yeah, I've been um, do, um, producing content for them for a couple of years now, and they have a wide variety. I mean, and I've been pleased with um, everything that I've, I love. I love the Umarex guns, but my favorite, my favorite, favorite was the Gauntlet 25. Yes, and now they have a new one with a better stock. Yeah, move that thing out of the way. One, the only complaint I had about the previous gauntlet was the stock. It was big and bulky. They've slimmed it out, made it a really pretty color. Um, <laughs> it's still super accurate. And I'm going to say it again because I like to brag a little bit. Um, Hajimoto put out a um, challenge a couple years ago. Maybe it was last year. I don't know. It was a couple years ago. The tack driver challenge. And at 40 yards with the 25 cal, six shots drove the nail through the two by four it was an eight penny nail drove it through the two by four i think that was the least amount of shots i think i won the challenge i really do outstanding the 22 caliber now i i think it was a little bit more shots than that but the 25 ugh, it is sweet and i like the 25 because the wind does not affect it as much i could tell you like that gun i do yeah and they've done a lot to upgrade this i mean the internals uh, are also changed but you've got this bottle, which is massive, 4,500 PSI. And you said like 100 and what shots? 100 and some odd shots in this at more power um, is impressive. I mm. mean, this gun was really pushing. You go look at the video that we did, and we kind of ran this through the ringer. We had all of us took some shots on it. And is that the one you know? Was it? 
I remember there was one video so many we've done lately in the past few days. Angie beat all of us. I don't know how that happened. Um, we're going to go back and check the footage to make sure there's so, no cheating. Did I win um, one, Umarex? You know, I've even got to send this one back. So there you oh. go, Angie. I know, right? <laughs> But it is a great new, well, not a new platform, but a lot of new features that they've in integrated into this platform that I'm excited to see uh, really come because it is a, some changes that I thought were due for this and they've really, they've really stepped up. So I'm excited to spend more time with that personally. I'm going to have a review coming out of this here shortly before I send it back. Um, what about some of the CO2 stuff? Or how, how have you done with their CO2 pistols and some of their other products like that? I really love the pistols because I honestly am not naturally good at, with handguns. Um, I'm more of a long gun girl, always have been. So using the CO2 pistols really gets me that trigger time practice on hold and they, they're so realistic. Yes. I mean, they don't have the same recoil, like I have a nine millimeter. They don't have the same recoil, but it's still the weight of the gun, the trigger, it all feels really realistic. So. Um, that's what I like to do with the CO2 pistols. This is one of their newest. This is the new, I think they got this, the M29. And that is a hog leg, buddy. That's gorgeous. That is very, very pretty. And it's unloaded. Uh, that is just a beast of a gun. Yeah. Um, very, very cool. We're going to have an entire... We're going to have a... Here, let me do it. Because uh, like, you're taller? Like this. There it is. Yes, <laughs> more reach. We're going to have a CO2 day here coming up where... We're going to take a bunch of the Umarex CO2 guns and just shoot. So this is one of the guns we'll be shooting. It has such a good feel to it, right? I mean, it, it just, everything feels really, really good. And they just looking at it, I would not guess that that's a BB gun. And then you pick it up, it feels, yeah. Solid. Yep, yep. Yeah. Did a really good job. So the other thing they've got new, uh, grab that Walther there. Do you like do you like these? I don't these? think I picked that one up yet. Yeah. Do you feel how heavy it is? Feel yeah, that's nice. It feels like a legit, legit yeah. firearm. That is sweet. Okay, so the cool thing about this, um, most of these that you see, I'm hiding the mag, you see that? I did. Most of these that you see <laughs> uh, shoot BBs, but they have improved that, and now they have a magazine that has a belt in it. Now, this is not new. There's other guns that have had a belt fed. In fact, Umarex has their, uh, what's that, Ford? Umarex has their CX-4 um, Beretta sort of uh, rifle that's had a 30-round belt fed system for the longest time. This, they've actually incorporated a similar thing into a pistol. What I realized when I started shooting this, uh, or what I really liked about it, is normally uh, when you pull the trigger, it's this double action thing. It's got to rotate all of that weight, that belt, and all of those pellets. This had a really decent trigger pull. Is it as nice as, say, the M29 on single action? No. Is it something that's going to cause you to throw your shot off? No more so than a real firearm. So we're going to shoot this as well. Um, I was extremely impressed with how well they've done making that system where it's not impossible to pull the trigger. So is that 30 round as well? I don't know, you know, I don't know how many rounds it is. I did not count them, it's not 30. So I'll have to check that out on the numbers. Uh, this, the, some of these guns came to me with tags on them, say sample, so <laughs> I didn't get any paperwork. But I'm sure I can find out when we go to do that, do that shoot, I, that's probably gonna be Friday, but we'll see. Very, very awesome gun, it's got a great weight. I really think the weight on that is good. Oh yeah. It is sweet. So, Are you done with that? I'm done with that. Moving on. I want to move on to the next legends they have there. This is the M1A1, I think. Is that right, guys? Have to look at, yes, yeah. M1A1. Did What do you think of the weight on this bad boy? Pretty it realistic. It feels like the real deal, right? Mm -hmm. Mark Davis likes this one a lot. Yeah. I was at SHOT Show. He's the one that um, did a little short preview with me on video, and yeah, he likes that one a lot. Well, I have done a little shooting with this. This, not as big of a smile as some of the other guns we've shot, like the SWA, which is awesome. Um, but <laughs> this will put a big, fat, juicy smile on your face uh, because it's semi-automatic and full auto. Feel that again, man. That's going to take a bag here. Oh, yeah. I like the sights, too. That's sweet. We're going to be shooting And it's that. a replica. It is. So... Uh, when you look at Umarex's line of CO2 stuff, you're going to see a bunch of products 
that are, are licensed replicas. So you have guns that are look-alike and then you have guns that are licensed replicas. And the difference is the company actually paid the originator of that product for the right to use the name. When you do that, you actually, well, I mean, every company's different, but if you're gonna use my name, I'm gonna to wanna to make sure that whatever you're putting my name on meets my standards. Mm -hmm. So it's a different scenario that uh, this looks like something and like this is a Colt or this is a Smith & Wesson or this is a Ruger or this is, when you put that name on it, it has to meet a standard. Umarex does that probably better than anybody else in the market. And they just, they have a ton of great replica. They have Glock is one of their, uh, one of their products in their stable. So, and I have the Glock Gen 4 back here, which is a very fun, exceptionally good trigger, great training pistol. So this is a bit of what they've got going on. I want to get to that guy right there. So um, a lot of people want to go and they want to plink in their backyard. They want to do so affordably. They want to do so, uh, I gosh, I, I, they want to do so accurately, right? So they'll go and they look more so at raw affordability, so they'll buy something really cheap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then they get frustrated uh, because it's not accurate. Uh, that, I get it. I did that when I first started. I was buying guns. Oh, I'll never spend more than $100 on an air gun. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else have that uh, mindset? Um, <laughs> I'll never spend more than $200 on an air gun. I'll never spend more than $500 on an air gun. Three grand, I'll never, oh, I can't say that anymore. Um, I saw some guns this week that, uh, that are three grand, and I'm going, I could probably justify that. It's only like <laughs> five years at such and such interest. Oh, I can do that. Um, but this gun is the Umarex Fusion 2, and I love the original Fusion. It was single shot CO2, really accurate, about nine or 10 foot pounds. So with nine or 10 foot pounds, you could actually do some really light pesting, yeah. take some small game up close, it was a really decent gun. The other thing that was so cool about it, I remember the first time I saw it, I was at Umarex. You would have probably loved this. I think Tom Gaylord was there. A bunch of us were kind of doing a tour. And they handed me this gun. He said, fire it. I'm like, I'm like, it's broken. He said, no, that's the suppressor. It was so quiet, we thought the gun was broke. Um, and that's how quiet this thing is. Super quiet. You shot that really for the first time the other day. What did yep. you think of that gun? It's nice. It's, and I wasn't expecting the accuracy that I got, really. I was surprised at the accuracy. Yeah. It's a CO2 gun, and yeah. And I know the other one, like you said, was single shot, so having the mag, <laughs> I love having mags. Yeah, it's great, follow-up shots. Mm -hmm. Now, they have something that's kind of cool on this gun. I'm going to show you this, because um, this it comes with this guy right here. Oh, come on out of there. Oh, you know what? I probably might have to degas it. I don't want to, de I don't want to degas it. So that's CO2 in it. Um, you can run that, which is two 12-gram CO2s, cheap, or you can run these. But anybody have these? Anybody in the audience ever use these? And what's the problem with these? You can't you waste it because you got to degas it. Joe says you got to waste it because you got to degas it. You're not supposed to leave the CO2 in your gun. So what happens when you spend $9 on this, mm -hmm. you don't empty it, you just blew a bunch of money, right? Well, how about somebody to create a way to have a valve on this so that you can actually put it in your gun and then when you're done, take it out and you don't lose your CO2. That's a great idea. <laughs> about time, now this has existed, but for somebody to mass market it and make it available, this is awesome. And this only, won't only work at something like this, but I'm thinking um, the air javelin which yep. is a super fun gun to shoot, um, but it takes these expensive cartridges and you don't want to leave it in the gun, you don't want to waste it, so they've got this. So now you've got a solution for your 88 gram cartridges. So this little guy here, I think we actually have something special on their profile, Sue, for this little part. If you go to the airgunexpo.com, go to Umarex's page, this little part is featured because it's so important for guys that want to shoot the big cylinders. Now, this doesn't give you more power, but it does give you more shots. Yeah. And it gives you more consistent shots because you have more CO2 in there. The Umarex CO2 saver valve. The Umarex CO2 saver valve is what it's called. So go check it out. But this thing is awesome and it works with your Fusion. Yeah, thanks now, for thinking of us, Umarex. That's awesome. All right. So the Fusion, 
again, same sort of energy, four or five, well, excuse me, eight, nine, 10 foot pounds, depending on your pellet. Extremely accurate. I was shooting fragments, little pieces of clay pigeon on a bank at 40 yards with that little 177 and super, super quiet. And it's got all of these slots and rails. And as I said, I went like a 12 year old boy crazy and put this ridiculous sort of scope situation with a green laser and a reflex sight. And you know, why not? You know, I just thought it would be fun. And you know what, it's a lot of fun. It's just, hey, you know, why not? It's something Joe would do, I'm yeah, pretty sure. Yeah. <laughs> it's something Joe, I'm gonna go kill rats in my backyard. And that's what he would be out there with running around the backyard. Um, I do want to get to the hammer. And there's something I want to talk about as well with regards to the hammer is this feature that Umrix does. Yeah, let's actually take that. Um, let's do this. Let's take the fusion and we'll just put it off, off camera. Thank you. And I want to show you something about uh, what Umrix is doing on so many of their guns, okay? So if you want a rail on your gun, so what we've done here, we've mounted a rail. And on that rail, you can use a bipod, laser, swivel mount, you know, quick release swivel mount, because they've added the quick release mount in the stock now. You have rails up here as well, where you have slots. And in those slots, you're going to use what's called the M-Lock system. If you guys do anything with AR, you already know what this is. Um, but if you don't, and you say, how do I get a rail on my gun? Umarix makes it super easy. And I wanted Angie to do this, because I asked her, have you ever used M-Lock? She said, I don't know. Um, so I thought, let her do it. Yes. Can you move that gun off for a few minutes, like behind you, so that we can see what you're doing on this gun? Can you see it okay? Scoot it more toward me. Do you want to, I'm, I'm probably going to have you switch to the top camera. I'm on the top camera. How's that? It's just hanging up. It's more toward me. There you That's go. Good. Is that good? Yeah, that look good? Squeaky, squeaky. All right, so, all right, so if you wanted to put a bipod on this, Okay. All right, so you need to put, you know, like one of these on it, right? Right. So normally, I don't know how you would have done it, but you can get stuff and you can screw holes in things and all that. But it's so much easier if you're just set up to do it. Mm -hmm. So I'd like you to take that, put it in there, and secure it. Okay. How do you turn it? Let me see it. I need to make sure I set Angie up for success. You gonna explain? I'm gonna explain. Yes, explaining to do. Okay, that should work. What did you do? No, it isn't. Is it? Keep turning. What did you do to make it work? Joe, you should have said that with a mic. Keep that kind of stuff to yourself. So what did you do to make it work? Well, you just got to make sure the cams are down far enough so they actually get in there and grab. Okay. So what happens is when you tighten this up, it actually rotates sideways and then locks into position so that now you've got a very super, secure rail. Super easy. You don't have, and all of the slots that you have, if you want to put something up here, for like an IR light, like an IR light or something else. That's how easy it is to mount. It's because they've included M-Lock channels on so many of their products. Even that little Fusion has M-Lock channels. The new Gauntlet has M-Lock channels. All of these things, if you want to put a rail on, it's like two seconds. And these are super affordable. I think I bought this pack of like eight or ten for 12 bucks. So that makes life a lot easier. I think I have some guns easier. that have, yeah. I'm going to start using them. Yeah, it's very, very cool. Well. I've got so much more I could tell you about Umbrex, but I think that gives you a, oh. You're forgetting something. Oh, I am. Well, why don't you tell me about it? This is the brake barrel. It's the, I have the first one, mm -hmm. Surge Max. Okay. And it was actually one of the first air guns I got. 
Okay. It's a break barrel. This one's a 22. Mine's a 177. But um, it's got open sights. And one thing that I push, I like the open sight option on a gun because you really can tell how the gun shoots. Um, you mount an optic on it right away and you can't sometimes tell if it's the optic or if it's the gun. So check out the open sights first to see the quality of the gun. Um, I don't know. It's really an inexpensive brake Very barrel. Affordable. So yeah. um, I really don't know what else to say about it, Rick. I've got nothing right now. Well, it's I do light. like it. Yeah, it is Easy light. Easy to cock, open sights. It is a comfortable shot. I mean, fits right there. It's nice. Yeah, this one is a 22 caliber. And guys, we actually have one we're going to be giving away uh, after the expo. So definitely check out the website. We're going to be putting up a link where you can enter the contest to win one of these guns. I got it back in my truck sitting right here, already in the box, ready to go. So if you want one of these guns, definitely go to the website, look for the link. We'll be putting up links. I'm not, it's not ready yet, but it will be shortly, and you guys can win one of these Surge Max Elites. Guys, I think that's it. I, I could probably talk for days on all the products has. I have <laughs> from Umrex, from the Air Saber to the Javelin to the, oh, oh. just, I know, Air we Saber. We should have, yeah. Sorry, Umrex. Tomorrow's another day. I have one. It's right over there. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Maybe we'll pull it out. So many options. Maybe these guys, maybe some of these guys haven't shot arrow shooters yet. We just need to do it. I don't know. We'll see what happens. For now, that's going to be it. Again, I want to thank our sponsors for this segment, Umrex USA. You want to know more about all the great products they have from, gosh, precision guns, because they actually do the Walther line of match precision guns, all the way to big bore monster bear killing machines like the Hammer. Go to www.umrexusa.com. And I also want to thank our, our event sponsors, which are GTA, uh, Gateway to Air Guns, and also Air Guns of Arizona. Guys, we got one more to go today, and then we've got our roundtable wrap-up of day three later this evening with some more special guests. Umrex will be here, as well as we have Hawk in the house. Hey, John! Woo! Woo all right, we're all tired. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys in a little bit. Thank you guys for watching. See ya.